we're practicing for. Super pumped for today. A uh, couple reminders as we're getting started. This is very practical stuff, but it's wet outside, okay? So that means your cuts, you're gonna have to be really careful. You'll, if you're not, you're gonna end up slipping. Also, at every possible chance, catch it with two hands. Because as soon as this disc hits the ground, which it will, because that's how frisbee works, it's gonna be wet. It means it's gonna slip. So if you have a chance, wipe it off on your shirt when you get it. Um, take your time. If there's ever a weight, make sure you're wiping off the disc. Catch it with two hands. That's practical stuff. Um, for the first this point, this is slick. Yes, it is slick. For the first two points, we're gonna do veterans because we want to outrun that's new to see what's going on. And then we're gonna start subbing people in. And then, I mean, we have a lot of games today, so yeah. don't worry about playtime. We're all gonna be dead. Make sure if you, if you <laughs> a lot of weird things here, but the first one is we're gonna say, or we're gonna not say, we're gonna shout, feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up, it's bobsled time, okay? You gotta shout it. You have to shout it. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up, it's bobsled time! In Eastern's fourth trip to Muhlenberg, the Exiles were set to clash against Franklin and Marshall. Right from the start, it became apparent that this game would not be a sprint, but a marathon, as the two teams fought a fiercely competitive first half of play. The connection from Mark Hershey to Jesse King carried the Exiles into the half up 7-6. In the second half, Eastern added two more points to their lead. Franklin and Marshall countered with three unanswered points to even the score at 9 each.
But second year captain Ryan Roudenbush took command and led Eastern to victory. With their first win, Eastern gains the confidence they sorely needed. Wait, what are you good game, good Amish, where's your buggy? Where's your buggy? Uh, uh, wait, no, let's be honest, good game, Amish. Yeah. 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 One, two, three. Let's be honest, good game, Amish! Uh -huh. I, right. oh, I like right. that sound. Hey! Nobody leave! Hey, what are you doing? Okay. Hey, guys, we need a great that job. That plane's crashing. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, literally the only thing I think we could have done better is like a couple of us made some drops, I made some boneheaded throws. Like if we just clean that up, we're gonna do so well. Yeah. I am so proud of everybody. Our fans are fantastic. Before game two, a friendly match of spike ball determines possession of the disc. Hey, let's go, Jesse, go, Tim. <laughs> Eastern won spike ball handle. But as for their matchup on the ultimate field, Adelphi posed a greater threat. A different team from their last game against Eastern in 2014, Adelphi went ahead 4-1 early. Boosted by play from their veterans and newcomers alike, the Exiles clawed their way back into the game. The score by John Sanders tied the game at 8, with both teams' defenses stepping up. Stuck on the goal line, Eastern made a critical mistake. Adelphi jumped in front. Earning the Callahan ends the lead. Eastern would not score again. Adelphi had dealt the Exiles a crushing blow and their next opponent would not make their day any easier. Lockhaven was a familiar foe to Eastern, a team which the Exiles had success against in the past.
This was, however, not yesteryear's Lock Haven, as they overwhelmed Eastern and handed the Exiles an unprecedented shutout. After starting with such promise, Eastern dropped to 1-2 and two on the day. A fourth game by had now become their saving grace, giving the Exiles the chance to recollect and prepare themselves for their next showdown. Um, I was like, we will start there. Cool. All right, good stuff. We're just gonna yell, we have the meats after Jesse yells Arby's. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, I think or, it's all of us. Oh, never mind. Yeah, everyone yells Arby's. Arby's, Arby's we, we have, have the meats. meats. Got it? Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Arby's, we have the meats! <laughs> The resuscitated exiles demonstrated to everyone that their tournament had only just begun. Renewed and refreshed, Eastern led throughout the first half of play. In the second half, Muhlenberg X showed flashes of their own talent. Despite Muhlenberg's efforts, the game's outcome was never in doubt, with Eastern leading the entire way. The win brought Eastern back to 500 and secured them a spot in the tournament's playoff bracket. Great game. We had a lot of people step up. Um, it was really sweet. I think we go to playoffs now. I'm pretty sure. We're definitely not the 13th seed, so everyone, yeah, well, everyone is accept Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Uh, we're going to come out super hard, okay? We're going to win this first Absolutely. game, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, we're gonna put, that's three and two, right? Two and two. Two and two. two, and two. That's right. All right. Well, we're two and two. With two more games to go, one more win would secure that 500 record. So, I know it's hot. I know everyone's tired. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to win. Yeah. That's all we need to say. Hey, cool. hey starting line, before we get it again in, starting line. Um, Ryan, we're pulling, so we want a defensive line. Dakota, wait at least one. Where are you? Oh, sweet. Um, so we want Danny and Steve handling. Um, and then, let's throw Mark, Pie. Are you guys running a 5-2? Yeah. Sweet. Sounds great. Um, and who are two girls that are going in? Yeah, Jesse's one. Wait a second. Cool, Danielle. Jesse and Danielle. Sound good? Any questions? Sweet. All right, so for this one, Will's going to yell, Exiles, what is your profession? And we all yell, ah -hoo, ah -hoo, ah -hoo. So three times, OK? You got it? 300. Yes, 300. Exiles, what is your profession? Ah -hoo, ah -hoo. Against Kutztown, Eastern took advantage of the opposition's exhausted state.
although Kutztown was weakened, they were by no means defeated and kept the game close. Late in the game, Kutztown ran out of gas, and the Exiles secured the convincing win. The victory over Kutztown secured their place in their Brackets Championship, an opportunity to finish with a winning record. Woo! I have nothing to do. Yay, yay! Yeah. Now it's Ryan's turn. Come on, Dad! <laughs> Speak! Hey, guys, that was fantastic. There's hard cap. Hey, seriously, that was probably our best game of the day. Yeah. Everyone was so dead. We had great throws. Cutter's amazing. Jesse, fantastic. Way to close it out. Yeah. It was so good. We could have a potential one other game if we wanted. Yes. I want to play. Keep that train rolling. I want Let's go. Let's play. Let's go. Cool. Let's play. Okay. Yes. That's the bummer. There's talk of going home. And hey, how about we take it to a vote? Who wants to stay? Wait, Everybody? Playing? Yeah. Playing. yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. We're here. All right, we're doing it. I hate you all. But for Eastern to win, the Exiles had to play familiar foes in a shortened contest. Maybe more. There's no, no more games. Seven. Well, yeah, but like, what if it's like 4-4? Four, four? That's eight points right there. All right. There. What if we got... Shh. Okay. There's going to be seven times that we score. We're all going to be ours. We're all going to feel like death. We're all going to be amazing, and we're going to win. So, it's all good. Yeah. The race to seven points was to come against Muhlenberg X. And from the start, the game had all the makings of a classic. After trading barbs early, Muhlenberg X gained a 5-3 advantage. Undaunted, Eastern answered right back with three straight points. A late score by Muhlenberg set the stage for an intense universe point. In the end, it would be Muhlenberg X that finally broke through and got revenge on Eastern in the day's final game. With a final total of 3-3, three and three, the Eastern Exiles finished with the best start to a season of Ultimate in recent memory. That could have easily gone either way. I'm super happy with that. 
Oh, hey, three man. and three is not bad for a first tournament. I'm yeah, so proud of everybody, three. man. That's way better than last year. We only hey, we got one. Yeah, we got one and five. Oh, okay. yeah, that was, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Good Everywhere I moved, I cranked. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, check that out. That's beautiful. Oh, that smells really bad. Hey, I'm very proud of everyone because it was dead tiring in the last game and everyone tried so hard. So thank you for giving it all you got. I promise it won't be this hot all the time. Yeah, we'll play a tournament in November. Hey, <laughs> October 22nd, right? That's the next tournament. That's the next one. Call off of work, guys. Or 21st, something like that. Yeah, that weekend. It'll be a Saturday, whichever it is. It's a Halloween tournament, so we're going to dress up and be oh, cool. Oh, yeah. It's going to be awesome. With a successful tournament behind them, Eastern now has a bright future to look to.